Welcome to the Moody View, this is Martin Moody and this edition comes to you from Incheon International Airport. I'm just about to fly home to London, I'm standing outside the Lotte Duty Free Cosmetics and Perfume Store here right in the centre of the terminal. This is one of the biggest, if not the biggest, duty free perfume and cosmetics doors in the world. Now just in there we're going to see all sorts of consumer scenes being played out that are of more interest than usual at the moment. And that's because this business and all the other duty free business at Incheon will be up for grabs later this month when IIAC put the business out to tender. Long awaited, long delayed tender. But the big talking point is that the business has been split up into two groups. One group, a bunch of concessions available to the big retailers, Lotte Duty Free, the Schiller Duty Free, Shinsegay, Hanwha and so on, international operators as well. But a number of concessions made available only to small and medium enterprises. And that's going to mean a multiplication, a fragmentation of retailing here. It's a big, big talking point. There's a big move in terms of both consumer sentiment and government regulation in terms of curbing the influence of the big conglomerates in this country. And of course, Lotte and Schiller are part of such conglomerates. So hence the proliferation of concessions here and the proliferation of licenses throughout South Korea. So the tender is going to be very interesting. It's bad news for the big retailers. It may well be bad news for the airport as well because the smaller and medium enterprises are simply going to struggle to cope, in some cases at least, with the sheer complexity and cost of doing business in an airport such as this. Now in there in front of me, as always at Incheon, we are seeing huge levels of business done. I just walked around that store a few moments ago, the business being done around the Korean cosmetics counters, for example, Solwasu, the best seller here. Uh, extraordinary levels of interest, notably among Chinese consumers. Chanel and Estee Lauder, particularly busy as well. So these are rich prizes, make no bones about it. And although the business will be fragmented and no big retailer will be able to have any sort of exclusivity in any of the core categories, they're still going to be in there fighting. In fact, very much fighting for their lives. This tender is going to be one of the most compelling and in some ways unusual in travel retail industry history. Martin Moody closing out the Moody View from the Lotte Duty Free Cosmetics and Perfume Store at Incheon International Airport.